One corner in Camp Washington has been the home to at least two chili parlors. But tonight we know that we'll soon get out of the business, the chili business that is. Our continuing series, Move Up Cincinnati, focuses on transportation, regional growth and development here in the tri-state. Nine on your side's Lisa Smith tells us what's cooking next for the old building at Colerain and Hopple. The chili making starts early each morning for Jimmy Sturgeon. Well, this is my life. I'm here every day. He cooks 20 gallons of chili at a time. The chili recipe has been in the family for generations on a menu that has expanded to three ways, four ways, five ways, and more. That's my grandfather's recipe. Yeah, and he was the uh, original Camp Washington chili. His name was Steve Anden. But in a few months, U.S. Chili will no longer occupy this old building at the corner of Colerain and Hopple. The building's being sold. Jimmy Sturgeon started the restaurant, but his dad owned the building. I wasn't working, and my dad called up one day and said, you better get to work, open a restaurant down in my building, I need a tenant. That was in the mid-80s. Yesterday, the Camp Washington Community Board and Camp Washington Business Association bought the building. The restaurant is expected to close in about three months. It's time. 35 years, it's time. This old building has been a lot of things besides U.S. Chile. It was once the living quarters for railroad workers, and it was also a bank, but that was a really long time ago. Nah, it's not going to happen. The bank vault is still inside, and the upper floors need some work. We're looking at studios, uh, apartments on the second and third floor floor. For sure. The Camp Washington Community Board and Camp Washington Business Association hope to find a developer to help them revitalize the 1895 structure. It's a gateway. It's a very important building for Camp Washington. It sits square at the corner of Colerain and Hopple. They believe the prime location and historical importance could lead to a potential historic district for Camp Washington. They also want to keep a restaurant on the first floor. We've got a busy corner. It's a 24 by 7 corner. It's very busy all the time. Uh, it would make an incredible uh, location for another restaurant. Meanwhile, Sturgeon is looking forward to his next chapter. Sort of like graduating high school. You don't know where you're going, but you're happy and sad at the same time. Lisa Smith, nine on your side. And be sure to stay with nine on your side for special coverage of topics dealing with growth and transportation. Again, we're calling the segment Move Up Cincinnati. We have a team of reporters covering this topic on air and online at WCPO.com.